Hello everyone, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are celebrating 30 years of Beauty and the Beast with this new collector limited edition doll set released by Shop Disney. Uh, for me here in America, it came out November 8th on their website and it was a pre-order saying that it would ship sometime before January. So I just got it yesterday. Um, I know a lot of you have received it already. If not, you're receiving it probably this week. So Considering that Beauty and the Beast is such a huge film and Disney Store always releases so many items to celebrate this year, they only released a couple of stuff and this is really the only dolls uh, that they released. We were expecting maybe Belle in her villager blue outfit or her green library dress and they didn't do them. Uh, maybe they did them for D23 and it got pushed back. I don't know. I know that down the line they'll do them because Beauty and the Beast always gets like really nice treatment from Disney store in terms of merchandise. So I do expect them in the future. Uh, we also thought that maybe we would get lucky with a new collaboration with Saks Fifth Avenue by Disney store. And that didn't happen this year either. I don't know why, maybe the pandemic, I don't know. I have no, no inside information as to why Disney store didn't collaborate with Saks Fifth Avenue. However, Hasbro stepped in with Saks Fifth Avenue and released a 12 inch doll for $315, which in my opinion, it's just a lot for like an 11 inch Hasbro doll. So I would not be purchasing her, but if you want her, she's available on Saks Fifth Avenue website and actually also on entertainmentearth.com website. So since we are talking about money, I wanted to go back to this set and mention that the retail price for this is $500. And I know that's still a lot, but it's way cheaper than before because these Platinum or collector doll sets are usually priced at $750. Now, I don't know why um, it was lowered, but I have a feeling that it's because they made a lot more of them. For example, this doll set is they made 1800 of them. And that's a lot compared to, for example, the first Beauty and the Beast Platinum doll set, which I don't have. That one is only limited edition of 500 and it was 750 like the Ariel set and Cinderella, all those doll sets are 750 and they're all below a thousand copies. It's like 700, 600 of them. So I have a feeling that by raising the amount of dolls that they made, they were able to lower the price. So I'm really, really happy about that because even though $500 is a lot, it's way more doable than 750. So, you know, again, it's up to you. I'm never going to tell you what's worth what that's for you to decide. But for me, 500 is way better. One last thing I wanted to mention before we go ahead and take them out of the box and get started with the review is that these dolls were inspired by original pre-production concept artwork. Um, it's, you know, art that they didn't use for the final looks, but at some point they were going to look like this. And personally, I love that so much. I think it's such a cool idea that they got inspired by something that at some point was discarded and now it's just captured here forever. So I really love that. Anyways, I have talked so much in this intro, <laughs> so let's just get started with this review. First up, we're taking a look at the box and it's really beautiful. It's a rich metallic blue with gold flowers on it. And we have the Beauty and the Beast logo right on the top window. You can kind of see their heads there. As you see, there's like a rose pattern all around the blue, right? It, it doesn't look as good on camera as it does in person. Then we have the Beauty and the Beast logo with 30 years right there. It says the Bell and Beast Collector Doll Set, one out of 1800. This is just such a nice color choice for this set because it matches the dolls perfectly in my opinion. Now in the back part of the box, we have the same rose pattern going around. You can go ahead and pause if you like to read that. And I really love the fact that they included uh, the, concept, the concept art right here. I love this. The moment that these dolls were announced, I was hoping that they would include the concept art somehow in the box and it's in the back. So I really, really love that. And the retail price is not on here on the box itself, but as I said, it's $500. And now just for fun, I wanted to quickly show you how to open the doll set.
As usual, the certificate of authenticity is beneath the dolls. And as you can see here, you can pause if you'd like to read that. I have number 998 out of 1800. So before I take them out of the box, I always like to show you what they look like in it. And as you can see here, they're displayed holding hands in front of the ballroom. And this is more of the dark time ballroom, right? It's darker colors and the light coming from the windows. It's dark and it's just a better fit than the super bright room for this type of outfits, right? Because they're more muted and not as colorful. After some magic and patience, here they are out of the box and they look amazing together, um, standing next to each other. They have their stands, which are included, and they just look really cool. I can't wait to look at everything up close. I want to start first with Beast and his face sculpt. They definitely capture him here. I believe that this uh, face sculpt has been used before, but again, I don't have the original set and my solo Beast is not in the house to compare. But from what I can see, it's the same face sculpt that we've seen before. It's just painted slightly different. It has his bow, which is painted gold. And it's kind of like a soft plastic, right? Like a rubbery um, material. There you can kind of see it. It looks like it's inflated or something. <laughs> but he looks really good. He has his blue eyes and all the different variations of color. One thing that I did notice is that he looks way better if you put the... What do you call this? collar right if you put the collar up because it covers that white stuff that they left there and here's a quick look at him next to the beast in the other platinum set just as a quick reference because again i don't have it to actually compare them next to each other next up we're taking a look at his outfit while it's still on the doll before i remove it and i'm just going to read the description of the outfit for you from the shop disney website it says, the cape features metallic gold quilt quilting and embroidery. Vest features metallic gold brocade print with chain and stud details. Metallic gold embroidery on cuffs, golden piping, gold metal cufflinks with gems, lace, ascot, satin pants, and rooted tail. <laughs> so that's really cool. Um, again, we're going to take everything off. So I just kind of wanted you to get that official description, professional description, since I don't know how to do that. <laughs> but you get the point. He just looks amazing, so dashing and handsome. <laughs> so we're just going to remove the stand, which holds him by the waist. It's the typical stand that they use for the male dolls. It just goes right there and keeps them together. And his feet are actually bent when he's standing. He can't really stand when they're, you know, stretched out all the way. To remove the cape, you have to be very careful because it's just held, holding on with a little uh, clip and the chain. So removing it, you have to do it slowly. My videos are sped up in certain areas, so it looks like I do it faster, but obviously I don't, I'm very careful. Um, the cape itself is beautiful. It's a really rich purple color. This area here looks like velvet, although I'm not sure. And it has a lot of embroidery. There you can see a lion and it's just this beautiful pattern with some roses on it. And this is obviously not a part of that concept artwork. It's just added stuff by the, you know, the artist here. I love the uh, collar. It's also very beautiful with embroidery on it. It's just extremely well done and it feels heavy and well made as well. Now you can see him without the cape and he has a really nice golden vest and it's just really classy, even without the cape. I love that gold metal brooch in the middle. And we can kind of see here that everything is padded because it's really just a limited edition standard male body, um, except for the head, the hands and the legs. But the middle part is just a regular male body. And I'm not able to remove the outfit. I'll tell you why in a second. <laughs> but yeah, it's just padded. And that's what they have to do to get his body type. I guess, instead of making a whole new body. Now the actual cuffs here are beautifully, beautifully done. It's gold embroidery with this stone in the middle or brooch, if you want to call it that. And it's like a light blue color, like a rhinestone with light blue color. Beautiful job. I love the sleeves. And now the reason why I'm not able to actually remove the outfit completely is because I cannot get it through the hands and I was not able to remove the hands either. So. You know, unfortunately it is what it is, but I'm sure you get the idea. Middle part is the limited edition male type body 
and then the rest is just added to make the beast. The tail itself is very furry and it's attached to the pants and it's actually all one piece. The pants and the top part, it's all one piece together with the tail. Now the pants do have an opening on the bottom and you can lift it up so you can see that it's half the limited edition male body leg with the sculpted beast legs which look really awesome and painted very well. <laughs> it's a hybrid, a hybrid doll. He actually has pretty good articulation. He should be able to sit. Here you can see his hands and his arms and they're sculpted and painted very well with pretty good articulation as well. And now we're moving on to Belle and we're starting off with her face. She looks very beautiful. In the movie, she has hazel eyes and they look kind of greenish and the doll itself always gets green eyes so i believe this is the first time when they actually give her more of a hazel color to them they're not necessarily brown or green they're somewhere in the middle a little bit yellowish i don't know but i absolutely love them and how dark and realistic they are the makeup is very very minimal she has uh, pink lips she's just very beautiful in my opinion i love the rooted lashes they're not super long right they're more like normal looking if you will and i wanted to show you quickly what she looks like next to the first platinum set bell um, just for reference i do believe it is the same face sculpt when it comes to the hair i believe that they took inspiration from the artwork and bell's hairstyle in the movie and just kind of mixed the two together uh, to come up with this so the hair is pretty short personally i would have loved if she had really long dramatic hair although it might not have fit like the style and era that we're going for, but I would have personally loved that. So yeah, it's very short and it's styled very nicely with a lot of gel though. I might wash it later, but I'm a little bit scared. I don't know. <laughs> then she has this metal gold flower attached with a pearl right in the middle. And it's a really beautiful touch. I had no idea that it was on there until she actually released and we saw more photos. But yeah, there you can see it. It's a really nice, Add a touch and it's only one on that side. She's also wearing drop earrings and they have a blue little rhinestone which matches the blue rhinestone on beast uh, cuffs which is a really nice you know tied together moment and she has a beaded pearl necklace and to remove it you would just have to take her head off. <laughs> now I want to show you a quick look at the outfit on her before we go ahead and remove it to take a closer look and I'll read some of the description here for you. It says that she has a split bodice with three bow insets on brocade, two-tone metallic embroidery on bodice and overskirt, puff sleeves with embroidered overlay and cuffs, lace and silver ribbon trims on satin overskirt, laced waistline trim, brocade underskirt with ribbon sash and satin rosette trims. <laughs> it's a lot of reading words that I normally never say, so sorry about that but you get the point. <laughs> it's a beautiful interpretation of the concept art. So we're gonna go ahead now and remove it um, just to get a closer look at everything. And this is two piece, right? We have a bodice and we have a skirt. Uh, now it's really difficult to get this through the hand. So I'm just gonna remove it safely. If you try it, you know, do it with patience just to be careful. But yeah, it's really the best way to get the outfit off without stretching anything or messing anything up. So here we have the bodice, and I absolutely love the colors chosen here. The two tones of metallic embroidery really go well with the blue color and the pink. It's all very like pastels, but like on the dark side. Can't explain it, but I know you know what I mean. <laughs> I also love the embroidery here on the puff sleeves. It's really nice fabric. Um, it has like a shine to it. You have to see it in person to really be able to tell, but it's... A beautiful beautiful fabric here it looks expensive <laughs> and it was very nice here we have her skirt which is also very elaborate and pretty she has this dangling um, pearl right that matches the one from her necklace and it's attached onto the dress so I'm not messing with it and it goes all the way to the back I also love the embroidery work here on the blue uh, fabric which matches again the bodice and that overskirt part is attached to the 
uh, brocade underskirt, which is what they call it on the website. And it does have a, a train, right? Really nice, really beautiful. Again, double fabric. Just the way that it did the skirt here gives it so much volume. I also love the little roses, which of course ma match the, uh, the ribbons on the bodice. Just beautiful. I love that ribbon going across as well. It, it's just an amazing creation here, inspired by the concept art, but even better if you will. She's wearing beautiful sculpted heels, and I'm not sure if we've seen this specific uh, mold used before. It's possible that another doll has them, but they're very beautiful, painted in a silver white color with the pink ribbon, and the bottom part is like a dark brown. All right, everybody, so that is all for today. I'm so sorry that the video ran for so long, but I just had a lot of information to say, so I apologize for that. I hope that you enjoyed my review. Let me know what you think of this doll set. I'm personally really happy to own it because I was never able to get the first one. So I'm just happy I have a Beauty and the Beast um, collector set or platinum set in my collection. Again, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.